Code name, Lady T. Angel. Reason, talk show. Name of talk show, The Big Journal Life of Lady T. Angel. How many seasons in the talk show? Five. Episodes per season, 24. Running time, at least six minutes. Hello, YouTubers. You are joining the talk show that has it all. She's got style. She's got flair. She's the answer to all of your problems. She is not afraid of anything. She is here to shine, and she is also here for you. You are joining her in a different range of talk topics in her show. She will be answering questions provided by Google and some that she made up on her own. She will, you will also be joining her in the People's Thoughts, which is now called Tell Alls. Tell her everything. She is here to talk to you. You are joining her once again in a brand new season of her talk show, where her real name is Taylor Shanice Raymond, 22 years old and real famous. Please join her today because, once again, she is not afraid to shine. Which you are joining her in her talk show, The Beauty of General Life with Liddy T. Angel. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what up, what up, YouTubers? Can I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here once again on my talk show. The Be Your Girl Life of Lady T. Angela Cooley. That will be more. <laughs> and I thank you guys so much for joining me here once again. Okay, we are still continuing show for my talk show after I stopped shooting um for a year now. It's continued, but it is revised, which means it's going to be a little bit different until my show ends. I mean, right now we are going to be going on and on and on. Until the next season, which is season five, and episode twenty-four. Until I and I mean that's that's gonna make my project stop until I decide to make another one. I was thinking about doing another talk show, but it's not it's not gonna be by myself. But you're not gonna see it until two thousand seventeen or two thousand eighteen. Sorry, <laughs> should talk shows take a lot of work? Okay, but let's get to why we are here today, shall we? Okay, the last episode we did was episode nine and we and we talked about the same show that we talked about in the previous episode uh, w which is fil failures and sharing and and what could happen with relationships so we are talking about something something a little bit different um in in this episode season 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 four episode 10 sorry I almost said season 10 <laughs> i'm like you know what that already came out that already slipped out so i might as well say season season four episode 10 this is this one so this episode is called the growth of collaboration and her babies so we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. Okay, and this is provided by Google, not by me. And we are talking about... <clears throat> Do you ever see a family tree or timeline for, for collaboration? And what I mean by this is... Like, you, you and your loved ones start, start a family together. And watching your kids grow, they, they, they become... They, they become more more of you or become more successful than you and um that that's what makes you a, a proud parent like like hey I, I brought i brought this child into this world that's my baby like um look at how we're look at how well they're doing here you know um you know things that 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 makes you so proud that, that you had them because you know that they'll make some kind of difference in the world or to themselves because I, as parents, I mean, uh, like I said, I'm not a parent yet. No, I've never been a parent before in my life. <laughs> I'm talking crap right now, but <laughs> I mean, but I know as parents, uh, we want nothing more but to be proud of our, to be proud of our children, and we and we and we would definitely want them doing be better than we ever have in our lives. Because some of us were, we're from the wrong gen generation where, yeah, we can do certain things, but sometimes that doesn't always make a difference and that's what was said up sometimes so yeah we always want what our babies doing exactly how we are or better than we are i mean most i mean mostly it's better than we are i mean i know i know when i have kids one day and, and i'm married and i'm married uh, i want i don't want i don't want my children to, to do better better than i ever have 
because I'm starting out in, in, in adulthood. I mean, you, you guys know my my history with with jobs. I'm I'm still I'm still searching. I'm still looking for jobs. And I'm like, oh my god, is my search ever still going to end? It, even back when I when I had when I had work, um, I I I end up being laid off, found another job, or I got fired. I mean, mostly it's a mirror thing, but mostly it was because I kept getting fired. You know, I just got so I just got so sick and tired of it. Like, like when is the streak gonna end, man? It, sh- it happened to me so goddamn much. I started calling it a, a curse, and I don't know if that's ever gonna stop. But you know how it is out here in America, man. It is so hard to it is so hard to get by on jobs, and you see many adults in the world tr- struggling, trying to make it through with themselves, whether it's for themselves or or the, or the people they love that's close to them. I mean, they try to do everything they can. <sighs> I mean, jobs are so hard to get by. I mean, un- un- unemployment keeps going up and up by the second. And I wonder, like, what the hell does Donald Trump propose on doing to to fix this situation? Because, um, like I said, when I think of Donald Trump, I think of movies and TV shows. I mean, th- that's that's where the hell he belongs. He should not be. He should not be in office. And that's why that, that video I had I had shot to you guys and uploaded on my YouTube um, about a month ago. Oh my God! I do not want Trump in that seat. I never liked him. I mean, sure, I don't know what's wrong with America and um what was what, what possessed us to even vote for this guy. I mean, I didn't even I didn't even vote for this guy. I didn't vote for nobody. I didn't even vote. I mean, at first, the reason being was because I was confused, but then I had to think to myself, like, I mean, yeah, I know I know, Bernie Sanders dropped out because of something stupid Donald Trump had said, but I had to think, like, I mean, which one has more experience, which one has more qualification, and which one you know for a fact is going to take care of us, and who isn't a sexist, racist bitch, and I had to think, like, Hillary, I somewhat trust her, even though I don't want her to see either, I, I somewhat trust this person. Which is why I'm gonna vote for her, but when November eighth came around, something stopped me from voting. I don't know what. I guess I was just unsure again, because I remember getting into a a little play fight with with my boyfriend. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm getting off subject again, but I got into a play fight with my boyfriend, and I'm like, why do you want to vote for Trump? Why are you a Trump believer? I mean, I, I promised myself I wouldn't, I wouldn't point this out, but here I am saying it now. But I was looking at him like he was crazy. Like, you're looking at all the stuff that Hillary had did in the past. You're not looking at the stuff that Trump did in the past. I mean, that's what I'm looking like. That doesn't make a load of sense. Because it, feel, it feels to me that Donald Trump has done more more damage than Hillary has. I mean, plus she has more experience. You want, you want someone in the White House that has experience that will actually take care of us and who believes in us, you know? That's what I'm hoping, like, I hope this recount gets through, and I'm just done with it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, you know, uh, us gr- growing as parents, we want our ba- babies to do b- better than we are, and they're, they're able to, they're able to help, help others as they grow up, like, um, help us when we get older, like, when we when we become seniors and then, and then become adults, um, we want, we want to be able to be taken care of in some way because they because we took care of them when they were babies, you know. <coughs> hey, sorry, I still got an itch in my throat. I mean, I'm, I mean, I I saw, I saw this video a little after a little after I mean a week after Thanksgiving, and I'm still I'm still kind of sick. <coughs> Okay, sorry, but anyway, like I was saying, I mean, of course, we want our babies to, to grow up, um, you know, make a better living for ourselves than we ever have as parents or as kids at heart ourselves, and we want to be able to say, like, I, I'm, I'm so proud of my of my child. I mean, he or she's doing great right now. I mean, they're able to help others right now. They, they have a good heart, and we raised them. We taught them this. You want to be able to say, like, you want to be able to say stuff like that, like we're proud parents, and and right now we're passing on the, sh- the sharing and the help that we that we gave to our loved loved ones, and we're passing it on to them. 
you know, generation, generation, generation. Um, I mean, that, that's how that's how children is. They they inherit certain habits from us. I mean, whether they're bad or good. I mean, if they're bad, then you know you know you can just talk them. You know you can just um put them back in the place and talk them right out of it. I mean, no matter how old how old they are, I mean, um, especially in the future, that they will understand better and they will have a they will have a, a better understanding of why you acted this way, why you did things this way, and all of that, you know. But, I mean, you make it, you make a uh, huge impact on the world that, that makes God smile down on you. You pass it down from your kids to their kids to their kids to their kids to their kids. To their kids. So, that's, that's what I mean on the subject today when I say something like that. Okay, but anyway, YouTubers, um, that pretty much concludes this episode, and, um, right now I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here again. Like I said, I apologize for getting off subject, but <laughs> I, ha I had, I had to throw that in because, you know, Donald, um, so the only place he belongs is on, is on the television. He does not belong in the office taking care of thousands of people in America. I don't trust him, but I had, I had to throw that in, but. Like I said, I'm hoping he'll drop out or he will be impeached. Sure, God, I, I, I swear to God, man. Sure, I was talking about having him assassinated, but my boyfriend's telling me, like, you know they won't get assassinated unless they're doing a good job. Like, some of the pre presidents in the past have been assassinated, but I forgot who they were. I don't, I don't keep up with politics. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, but... Um, God bless you guys. Make sure to sub to my page. Um, let's get more of those subs up, please. Because I keep losing subscribers by every minute, and I don't know why. Um, and make sure to like my videos, comment. Make sure you're commenting on the, on the, uh, on the tell laws and the QOTDs as well. Like I said, I'm not going to be presenting them in the videos anymore. They're just going to be down in the description below for you guys. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. And make sure you're also sharing my videos. It gives me a lot more exposure. You know, get more people watching, get more views up, and I would really appreciate it. Like I said, if you if you ever want to sell back, um, make sure to write to me, and I will check you guys out. Like I said, I'm not here to I'm not here to, to sexually please anybody. I'm not here to assault anybody. I'm not here to bring anybody down. This is just me. This is all for me, and this is just my my basic knowledge. I mean, this is something I like to do. So don't even try to tell me otherwise. But anyway, God bless YouTubers, and until then. I will see you for more projects. I will see you for more projects and all of that. Until then, peace out. And you guys have great holidays. And, oh, <laughs> and Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you guys have a great 2017. Bye.